Hi, I'm Jacob Hornberger, Libertarian candidate for president. Republican presidential hopeful Vivek Ramaswamy has a plan. It's a plan on how he's going to make the Federal Reserve establish a stable dollar if he's elected president. His plan, which was published in an op-ed in the Wall Street Journal earlier this month, calls for the Fed to use a basket of commodities to guide it in establishing a stable dollar. Shortly after his op-ed was published, the Wall Street Journal editorial board, which of course is conservative, heaped a mountain of praise on Ramaswamy for this brilliant plan. There's only one problem with it. It ain't going to work. It's never going to work. You see, what these Republicans and these conservatives just don't realize is that they think that they can make socialism work. And that's what the Federal Reserve is. It's, it's a socialist apparatus because it's based on the socialist core principle of central planning. Ludwig von Mises called the results of central planning planned chaos. <laughs> what better term to apply to America's monetary system ever since the Fed was established in 1913? But Republicans and conservatives, well, for them, hope springs eternal. That they're the, going to be the ones that will come up with some brilliant plan that's going to make socialism work. Uh, Friedrich Hayek called this the fatal conceit, the conceit of the planner, that he can actually plan the monetary affairs of hundreds of millions of people involving you know, trillions of transactions. It simply cannot be done not without planned chaos. And this isn't the only area, of course, where Republicans and conservatives love central planning. Look at America's system of immigration controls, which, of course, Ramaswamy, no doubt, supports. You've had planned chaos there, perpetual crisis for the last 70 or 80 years as a direct result of socialist immigration central planning in that arena. Public schooling. Republicans are, and conservatives are great supporters of public schooling. You couldn't find a better example of socialist central planning than the public school system. But hope springs eternal. The Republicans and conservatives always have a plan to make public schooling work, whether it's school vouchers or charter schools or uniforms or schools or what have you, or what should be taught in public schools. There's only one solution to this monetary morass, and that's the libertarian solution. Separate money in the state entirely. Repeal legal tender laws abolish the central bank, the Federal Reserve, and establish a total free market monetary system, one in which people are free to choose their own medium of exchange and decide for themselves what they want to use as money. This is the only way to achieve not only monetary freedom for the American people, but also a stable currency. I'm Jacob Hornberger, Libertarian candidate for president. My campaign website is jacobforliberty.com.